Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is how to win at first dates. Of course, you know, as soon as you ask her out, you will be confronted with uh, a situation where you are going to be in first dates with her. So what we're going to check now are strategies to make sure that you win uh, this, um, you know, at this game. A first date might be very challenging because you are uh, two persons who don't know each other very well and you have to actually create an event on the spot. So here are some ideas that uh, I want to share with you. The two qualities that you have to remember at all times is be confident and fun. Okay, this is really what she's going to remember from you. If you deviate and take a line of feeling uncomfortable or feeling insecure or having problems, you know, all these things are going to have a negative impact in the way she perceives you. So the two key qualities that you have to remember at all times is are being confident and being fun. Okay? The second thing to remember is there to keep the date short. We are talking about one to two hours together maximum. Why is it that you want to keep the date short? It's very simple because you want to finish on a high. Many people make the mistake of stretching a first date. A first date. They want to get absolutely everything they can out of it. They want to know everything about the other person. And this is a big mistake. You have to keep the mystery alive. You want the other girl to want to come back for more. So if you give her a, an impression of or emotions that she likes on the first date, even if it's for a short period of time, if it, even if it's for an hour or two hours together maximum, she will want to come back for more. Another very important tip is train your listening skills. Many guys make the mistake of talking too much. They arrive at the first date and they think, wow, you know, I'm going to impress her with my life. Talk about my job, my past, my future, ambitions, money, situation, all that. They want to impress their first date so much that they just blow her away with facts, uh, ideas, emotions, impressions about their lives. And this is a big mistake because what she's thinking when she hears you talk all the time, she's thinking, what is in there for me? What she wants is you to shift the attention and be interested by her. So you have to ask her open-ended questions, tease her. We will come back to this topic on how to really um, start conversations which are interesting and uh, exciting for both of you. We will come back to that in another video. But for now, remember this. You have to put the attention on her at least 60% of the time. If you, ha if you spend you know, an hour together, she must have space to share her ideas. You have to ask her what she thinks about certain things or tease her on certain topics so that she can really express herself. If you really flood her with um, your personality and who you are and all that, she's going to get bored. That's what happens. Uh, she's not going to get impressed. Or maybe she might be a little bit impressed, but she might also think, you know, there is not much space for me in there. There doesn't seem much interest. So be interested in her. That's the next tip. Now we will quickly check a few conversation topics that, that really don't work. Uh, one topic that you want to avoid is religion. Uh, it tends simply to create tension, uh, conflict. Avoid as well politics <laughs> because it's too serious and also it tends to generate conflict. Another topic to avoid is job problems or personal problems. If you are facing you know, challenges at work, you have a boss you don't like, these kind of things, don't bring them to the first date. It's boring. It's really boring for her. She doesn't want to hear about that right now. She wants to be in a space which is more directed towards creating uh, chemistry with you, creating romance maybe. That might be a bit early yet, but you know, simply being able to know each other and uh, this does not involve your job. It does not involve your exes either. Leave your past at home. Don't bring your ex into you know, first new date. If you need to talk about your ex, you know, hire me, call a coach, do something like that, but don't bring the topic to your ex. If she asks you, and very often she will, just tell her, you say, you know, I don't really want to talk about her. I'm here to talk about you. Along the line of the conversation topics to avoid, uh, you know, there are a couple of sidetracks also that you can take. One of them is turning a first date into a therapy session. For some reason, you know, you might be down or you, 
you notice that she's down and you know you might want to pump her up or something like that so turning a first date into a therapy session is also might not be very appropriate it's not very adequate you want to turn the first date into if you have issues if you if there is something you are dealing with you know talk with a professional or with a friend before you go to the first date but don't use your first date as a you know as a sounding board to release your you know emotional problems that emotional problems that you might be having at that moment the next sidetrack is to turn this first date into a you know job like interview where you ask her all sorts of formal questions about her life this is really not the way to go keep that for later there is lots of information about her that you don't need to know right now uh, you know, eventually later when you get to know each other better, uh, it might be important, important for, for both of you to know more about your background, but for now, just focus on fun. This is all for now. You take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.